So hello everybody. As you heard, um, my name is Alexander Schmidt from Atos. And I'm Dieter Horst from Siemens. And today we want to explain you how we can optimize your supply chain with intelligent container management based on MindSphere. So we are not talking about, as you heard in different presentations about machine condition and all that stuff, but also about the process you have in your company and how this could be optimized or future enabled or digitalized. So um, it's all about you. It's about your unique value creation process as customer, meaning that you need two things. You have your unique value creation on the left side, as we see here. And on the right side, you need digital or technical innovation. So when we speak about um, digitization, we can speak about a product. As, as, as you remember, very simple. In, in the past or now on, we, we, we read book, books as paperbacks. Now we have an e-book. Or we can transfer that to more intelligent products. For example, in the past, we had a map. Now we have our handy available and have location-based services, which is, which is also a part we want to offer with that solution. We want to digitize, or you want to digitize your processes. So meaning supply chain optimization, rapid prototyping, and single production, which is leading to new business models here below. That you have, for example, um, in the in the past you sold your you sold your compressor for example now you sell the air so you servitize your product but um, Dieter can can you explain how we make uh, objects of our customers smart sure sure yeah um, as Alex mentioned out we you have different things here that that you want to digitize but there is one thing in common which is on the right block here um, first of all to, to you need smart objects. Um, there is there is a lot of things which are um, uh, there are a lot of things which are already smart, which which contain electronics, right? Which have uh, connectivity. But what do we do if there is not any connectivity on the objects? We make them smart by putting an RFID tag on them. Um, think about a pallet, a very simple pallet. This is a little model of a pallet. A pallet is terribly unsmart. It's dumb. So what we do is we put a tag on it to be able to track that pallet along the process, right? This is what we talk about. Um, this is supply chain optimization. So smart things is the first. It's the enabler. RFIDs, uh, RFID can be the enabler for that. But then you must be able to transport your data. You need connectivity. So with the right RFID reader, you can do, for example, the new OPC UA protocol. Um, which is ideally suited for IoT applications. So connectivity or industrial communication products. Uh, assume you had uh, a factory which needs industrial wireless LAN uh, to do all those things. That's, that would be the connectivity part. And I mean it in an industrial grade, right? And also you need the platform that the thing runs on. Um, why are we here? Because it's the MindSphere launch. This is the platform which we think is ideally suited to do that. So we have the parts, we have the connectivity, we have the platform. But there is one thing missing, Alex. Which is it? Yes, the application and the service we offer. So uh, you need an application gathering the data, visualizing it, aggregating the data, and give you some insights about the process. Where is my box? Where is my pallet? Um, what, what about the process? Where, where does it, when is it returned? And, and, and all the things, and when you enhance that, for example, with additional data, with condition data of your box, you can also have new possibilities in your quality process, for example. Right. So, what do we see, Alex? We see the full the full process from the supplier to the customer. Right. Now, um, let's start at the supply chain at the very beginning. We have suppliers who supply things to your factory. You could have raw goods, you could have semi-finished goods, 
all things that go into your factory and, and, and that you use in your production. So starting, starting the journey already at the supplier, making the object smart that come in. It could be pallets, it could be boxes. Um, we have a customer who supplies bumpers in the, into the automotive industry. Every bumper carries an RFID tag. And using that, the customer can make sure his customer gets the right stuff. We talk about just-in-sequence production, so every bumper is different. This is enabled by RFID. So when, when the goods go out at the, at the supplier, the tags are red. When they come in, in the automotive factory, they are red again to make sure the bumpers are there. Right? If, uh, if the bumper of your, of your brand new Audi A6 is missing, you won't like it. So we must make sure it's there. Right, so as the goods run through the production, every step can be monitored um, by identifying all the objects. And that does not stop when the goods go out, because there is still one missing part. It's the customer. And we can track our goods throughout to the customer. So knowing the full chain enables us to optimize things. I mean, that's what we all talk about. We want to have an additional value of the data, which we get in the, in the factory anyway. And that could be done using um, connectivity and cloud applications. So this was a generic picture. Hence, we have our next slide where we said, we want to ensure global availability of your data, which you see here below. So, Dieter, as, as you already mentioned. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, practically, um, all those things here in the, in the, in the, low, on the, in the lower part of, of the slide, there is data that goes upwards into the, into the cloud. So, it can, be, it can be the goods that run on a conveyor. Um, as you do your automation, you, you acquire data that you can use beneficially for further processing. Here's the, the other example of supply chains. Intelligent containers, um, trucks that bring the goods. Everything that can supply data can be used here. Yes, and the important thing is, as you have a look here in the whole launch, we together, as Siemens and Atos, we want to connect your machines, your robots gathering the data, but also supporting your supply chain process and your manufacturing process here. So gathering the data and enabling availability of the KPIs that you have a more transparent view on your, on your KPIs about your aggregated key figures and a scalable solution because, yeah, MindSphere Access is simple, so you can also add partners to your environment um, that you have also the partner getting the data and including in your supply chain here. So parallel to production, we want to ensure the supply chain process that you can have benefits from both, supporting you as customers for your value creation yeah, process. I, and I fully agree, Alex. It's important to know that all that happens without interrupting um, your production. It runs in parallel. So your production is not compromised, but the data that comes out of your production can be reused. So. And right. now we come to the detail. So what is interesting for you is what, what we did here already and what we want to show with our app and within our booth here in the Platinum launch of Atos and on the Siemens booth below here. Yeah, this is, this is more or less a practical example of um, what a, a real-life scenario could look like. So um, we show, we've shown here a, uh, an intelligent container management, meaning um, we've, we've spoken about the, the smart objects, right? Um, a, a service which is run by a, uh, by a pool operator would be based on that. So the pool operator makes sure that his customers, like the manufacturer or further processing industries or point of sale, would be supplied with the right containers, the right amount of containers at the right time. 
So whenever, whenever these containers are moved from the pool operator to his customers, you would read them. You would know by, by reading the tags, you would know where they are. You would no longer lose any containers and buy new ones. You could make sure that containers that require maintenance, for example, containers that contain chemicals or food or beverages, would undergo the, um, the necessary cleaning cycle after so and so many hours of use or cycles of use. So all, all those information or all that, all, all that information could be used to do optimization, right? You would increase your efficiency. You would know how many boxes are at your customer for pickup. So you would know what is your, the transport capacity. Um, we have a customer who, do, who does an, 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 an e-ban, uh, an, 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 an electronic Kanban system. So whenever the customer goes to his customer picking up um, goods, he knows already what's missing. You can monitor. You know where your things are. You know your inventory. You know the utilization, so you can optimize your stock. And you can do the predictive maintenance. Everything based on identification, cloud, and the right app from ATOS, for example. Yes, and this also enables the raw material availability. So you can have a very good working machine, but if no raw material is available, then you have, a, you have a downtime of your machine because you cannot manufacture something. Or if you want to improve your quality management process, for example, in the process industry, when you get some, some ingredients delivered from another manufacturer, you want to know when, when do you have the goods available here, what condition state do you have here that you, that you don't need that whole process of your quality management, for example. So we, can, so we are also able um, to transform the data into your ERP system back to support your other processes you have in your company um, or you, you need these processes in your company. And that's what, what benefits uh, you will have with that. So for example, containers available on demand, you eliminate the out of stock of this raw material situation. You, have, you can reduce your inventory about your boxes available and you can do um, predictive maintenance, so utilization. You read the utilization, how your boxes are and what condition state they have, or your pallets. And this will improve your process. Right. So Absolutely. We work together as ATOS and Siemens in a global partnership. We professionalize IT and OT. We deliver applications and integration in your ERP backends. And, and we supply the right industrial grade um, products and we have the knowledge about industry, um, what our customers need and uh, offer the um, industrial grade solutions for your application. So this is how we work together, supporting you as customers. Let us start the journey, visit our booth, have a look at the app. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.